Okay, you've got questions. Yeah, where are we going? Crime scene. Next. Who are you? What do you do? What do you think? I'd say private detective. But? But the police don't go to private detectives. I'm a consulting detective. The only one in the world that invented the job. What does that mean? It means when the police are out of their depth, which is always, they consult me. The police don't consult amateurs. When I met you for the first time yesterday, I said Afghanistan or Iraq. You looked surprised. Yes, how did you know? I didn't know, I saw. Your haircut, the way you hold yourself, says military. But your conversation as you entered the room. A bit different from my day. Said trained at Bath, so army doctor, obvious. Your face is tanned. But no tan above the wrists. You've been abroad, but not sunbathing. Your lips are really bad when you walk, but you don't ask for a chair when you stand like you've forgotten about it. So it's at least partly psychosomatic. That says the original circumstances of the injury were traumatic. Wounded in action, then. Wounded in action, suntan, Afghanistan, or Iraq. You said I had a therapist. You've got a psychosomatic limp, of course, you've got a therapist. Then there's your brother. Hmm? Your phone, it's expensive, email enabled MP3 player. Are you looking for a flat share? You wouldn't waste money on this. It's a gift, then. Scratch is not one. Many over time. It's been in the same pocket as keys and coins. Man sitting next to me wouldn't treat as one luxury item like this. So it's had a previous owner. Next bit's easy, you know it already. The engraving. Harry Watson, clearly a family member who's given you his old phone. Not your father, this is a young man's gadget. Could be a cousin, but you're a war hero who can't find a place to live. Unlikely you've got an extended family, certainly not one you're close to. So, brother, it is. Now, Clara, who's Clara? Three kisses says it's a romantic attachment expense. The phone says wife, not girlfriend. She must have given it to him recently. This model's only six months old. Marriage in trouble, then. Six months old, he's just given it away. If she'd left him, he would have kept it. People do sentiment, but no, he wanted rid of it. He left her. He gave the phone to you. That says he wants you to stay in touch. You're looking for cheap accommodation, and you're not going to your brother for help. It says you've got problems with him. Maybe you liked his wife. Maybe you don't like his drinking. How can you possibly know about the drinking? Shot in the dark. Good one, though power connection, tiny little scuff marks around the edge of it. Every night he goes to plug it in to charge, but his hands are shaking. You never see those marks on the sober man's phone, never see a drunks without them. There you go, you see, you were right. I was right. Right about what? The police don't consult amateurs. That was amazing. You think so? Of course it was. It was extraordinary. It was quite extraordinary. It's not what people normally say. It's not what people normally say. Piss off. Did I get anything wrong? Harry and me don't get on. Never have. Clara and Harry split up three months ago. They're getting a divorce. Harry is a drinker. Spot on, then. I didn't expect to be right about everything. Harry's short for Harriet. Harry's your sister. But what exactly am I supposed to be doing here? Sister? No, seriously, what am I doing here? Always something. Hello, freak. I'm here to see Detective Inspector Lestrade. Why? I was invited. Why? I think he wants me to take a look. Well, you know what I think, don't you? Always, Sally. You know you didn't make it home last night. I don't, uh, who's this? A colleague of mine, Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson, Sergeant Sally Donovan. Old friend. A colleague? How do you get a colleague? Did he follow you home? Would it be better if I just waited? No. Freak's here, bringing him in. Ah, Anderson. Here we are again. It's a crime scene. I don't want it contaminated. Are we clear on that? Quite clear. And is your wife away for long? Oh, don't pretend you worked that out. Somebody told you that. Your deodorant told me that. My deodorant? It's for men. Well, of course it's for men. I'm wearing it. So, Sergeant Donovan. Ooh, I think it just vaporized. May I go in? Now, look, whatever you're trying to imply... I'm not implying anything. I'm sure Sally came round for a nice little chat and just happened to stay over. And I assume she scrubbed your floors going by the state of her knees. 